All right, traders, here we go. The watch this video for Thursday, February 7th. Look at the SPY here. Just a very uh, opened about where, it, or I'm sorry, closed about where it opened. Very dead, very narrow day. Saw a whole bunch of tweets, people talking about falling asleep today. I mean, we've come a long way. I talked about this in last night's video. We've come a long way after this sell-off. Maybe six, seven weeks, I don't know, to get up back up to the 200-day. And for all I know now, we may just trot along sideways for a while. Um, but a very slow day. I'm still sitting at all-time highs in my account, and that is from applying uh, the principles we teach in our trading course. So sitting and waiting for A-plus setups, um, and I didn't take a trade for like the first two hours till I finally found an A-plus setup. Um, I always get a lot of compliments from people in the chat room um, talking about my discipline. And you know what? When you've made every mistake in the book and you get tired of losing money, uh, that's where discipline comes from, right? Uh, I always say I'm only, I only trade for one reason, and that's to make money. So uh, I don't like taking a trade and being read in it. All right. Anyway, something else I realized today, um, February 2004 is when I started GreatStockPicks.com. So uh, I'm kind of proud of that. 15 years, basically this month, I don't know the exact date, right? But 15 years ago, um, started the website. And I, I don't know how many trading rooms there were back there. Uh, I would venture to guess very few of them are still around from the ones that are there. Now, there's like a million of them now, uh, but I'm proud to have, uh, you know, been doing this for so long. And uh, in, in many ways, I feel like I'm uh, just getting started and looking forward to the next 15 years. Um, so to celebrate, I just created this. Let me slide the website over. Hopefully that's working. Um, you click on the website and go to trading course. I just created this. Celebrate 15 years in business offering uh, the trading course, which is the, when I say on the left, that means this option right here, this option right here um, for 1500. So it's a thousand off plus a free year in our chat room. So I don't know that we've ever done that before, but that's our 15 year special. And I'm going to, uh, so it says 2499, but if you go down and click this, um, it will change at the checkout to 1500 and you get a free year in our chat room. Like I said, this is the normal price for chat, this uh, 3447 chat and uh, a lifetime in our, uh, chat. I'm sorry, the course and a lifetime in our chat room. So um, 1500 for the course and a full year, damn good deal. And I'm doing it because I'm in a good mood celebrating 15 years. I encourage anyone and everyone to scroll down too and read all this feedback from students. Uh, and you know what, I haven't added feedback to this since, uh, I don't know, in maybe uh, maybe a year. So there's a ton more that I need to add to that. But uh, we get a lot of nice comments about our course. Anyway, I'm done babbling about that. Um, what I'm watching for Thursday, LCI. Um, this is just a gap play, all right? This is the chart, nothing really stands out here. But in after hours, it's trading at 970. Um, so trading all the way up here, gapping up on earnings. You got this big island down here. Um, so certainly uh, it could give a gap and go to mark. We'll see, right? JVA is a lower volume stock. Uh, had this crazy move here all the way to 750. Um, it's been really strong. And now we've got two red days. I wish it was maybe down here uh, in that what we call the buy zone between the 8 and the 20. But, um, and I also wish it didn't have this bottoming tail. But uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I want to start watching that for a possible turn back up. AVCO, I talked about this in the last six vid videos. I really don't even like this anymore because the enthusiasm has waned. Um, you know, if this, again, I, I've said this like three or four days in a row. What I'm looking for is if, see all these are 15 minute candles, right? If this can break this, uh, a tight range in the afternoon and break the high of day in the afternoon, I think we could get a squeeze. With each subsequent day, I like this less though. I like to, I like to trade in the realm of recent high flyers, stocks that are in play. And this one is uh, quickly becoming uh, not that. <laughs> All right, so keep that in mind. I don't love it, but I've been watching it for so many days. Uh, I'm gonna keep it on watch until it either completely rolls over or it gives me what I'm looking for and hopefully I get a trade. Um, C-R-O-N, uh, very, very strong pot stock. Couple days lower. Again, I think this, uh, I wish this was another day, another day down uh, tomorrow and it may, um, but I am gonna start watching it because it was so crazy strong. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you get a crazy strong move and you get one or two red days and it's right back off to the races. So shorts can't be that cocky or confident yet. Um, and we are getting kind of to that, that buy zone I talked about. So I'm going to start watching that one for a bounce. 
or a turn back, <coughs> excuse me, a turn back up, however you want to wear it, CLDX um, penny stock, but it, it ran from, I don't know, 34 cents to almost 80, and now a couple days lower, getting near that buy zone again on lower volumes. So that one's worth watching. I'm not a huge fan of stocks under a buck, but I will trade them if I get a low risk setup. Um, I've been watching overstock for, for several days, um, and today it broke this flag. Uh, nice volume. Some people in chat, I believe, caught this somewhere like here, 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 uh, you know, because a lot of us had it on watch. It was on the watch list, and then it just ripped. Um, the only trade I took, and I missed this move, uh, I got filled in the 1960s on this pullback right here. Um, just using the, uh, many of you in chat or who have taken our course know what I mean when I say the twos buy zone. I got filled it in, I think, 1967 um, and made a chunk on it, but I left a lot on the table too. Um, but you kind of have this little inverse head and shoulders, or maybe you want to call it a cup and handle. Big volume today. This could easily, a lot of shorts in this name, uh, at least from what I hear, could easily have a continuation day tomorrow. AMRS inside day. I like this one for a potential long. Um, remember, as you watch this, I don't hold anything overnight, so I'm looking for ways to make money tomorrow, right? I'm, I'm green almost every day, and that's because I don't hold overnight. I don't have this stock over here. Um, you know, gapping down today that I'm holding and then I'm trying to make money in this stock. Uh, I hate that, right? So I, I, long time, years and years ago, I settled on, I'm just gonna trade every day and try to uh, increase my portfolio as far as cash goes um, every single day. And now I do have some red days, but uh, since I teach and preach and trade defense first, um, I have very few red days. Um, R-O-K-U, really nice breakout the other day. Now you've got a couple inside days in a row. Uh, really do like this one for a potential long. EOLS, just such a big move. Again, hats off to Wayne. He just killed this trade yesterday. Um, it went from 2077 to 2637 yesterday. That's a huge move. Small gap up today and, and then came back in a little bit. Um, again, I'd like to see this retrace more of this move maybe tomorrow, but sometimes they get going the very next day. So EOLS, uh, as strong as it was yesterday, has to be on a chart. APDN got a really nice volume spike here, kind of breaking into this gap here. Um, on an intraday basis, you can kind of see the sudden, sudden burst of volume at the end of the day. So definitely want to watch that tomorrow, maybe a red to green or something. And then lastly, CETX, um, nice volume spike for this stock. It's still barely over a million shares, but maybe the whole number $1 comes into play tomorrow and we get a continuation day, maybe get a trade through a buck. I have no idea how it's going to trade, but that's what uh, one of the things I'll be looking at. There's plenty to watch there, guys, and we will add uh, some gappers in the morning too. Um, so it should be another uh, good day. Remember, a very, very low volume day today. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times the next day can surprise you, and, and uh, it only takes one good trade each day anyway to make a decent living. So, all right, I'm done battling. We'll see you all in chat tomorrow.